Alright guys, so we've looked at all the chapters uh, in terms of the content in Steel Structures 1. So now we're going to try and wrap everything up by looking at how to prepare for exams. So the objectives of this video and the videos to follow in this chapter are generally going to be um, tips before the exam, uh, the summary of the course as a whole, and then we're going to run through some examples uh, regarding each chapter. Uh, in order to best prepare you for our exams. So starting with the general tips. So in Steel Structures 1, uh, although we haven't covered much theory, I think theory will be very important. And our theory extends beyond um, the ones we've covered in the video about things like residual stress and um, the length versus strength of uh, columns. Uh, it's in exam conditions, it's important to know the definitions of each individual variable. So variables that we use in the equations for AS4100, you know, such as our alpha C or lambda, or any variable that we use in an equation, it's important to know the theory behind them. All right, so beyond that, we need to know how to use the equations. Um, so most of the exams, or half actually, is uh, based on uh, calculations. And knowing how to use these equations is very important. Um, it's not that important to actually remember each individual equation as you can refer back to the Australian standards It's more important to actually know the process of conducting your calculations and Getting our design capacities or whatever we need at the end If you're ever unsure, it's always good to actually draw and visualize uh, the members uh, this is especially important for things uh, involving length and um, bending about in a certain axes.